Hi y'all, welcome to Cooking Keto Southern Style with Randy. Today I've been challenged by my wife to take the Cheddar Bay Biscuit recipe that I made on the uh, Southern Sunday Lunch uh, episode and turn it into a cinnamon roll slash muffin recipe. So let me remind you what you're going to need. You're going to need uh, two tablespoons of coconut flour, one large egg, uh, one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream, two tablespoons of water, a fourth of a teaspoon of baking powder, and then I'm going to substitute all the herbs, the spices, and the cheese out of the other, and I'm going to use two, table salts, two tablespoons of erythritol, a half teaspoon of vanilla, and a half teaspoon of cinnamon. So we'll start now by mixing up the, the regular ingredients in a ramekin. So we've melted our butter in the ramekin and to that we are going to add the coconut flour, the baking soda, and our cinnamon, and erythritol. And we're just going to mix that up. And it should be clumpy, but get it mixed up as well as you can. Use the tines on your fork to kind of whisk it together. And it looks like a uh, nice cinnamony, sugary uh, topping that you would put on and make some uh, French toast. Or some cinnamon sugar toast. Not for, Well, I guess you can make French toast too. So I've got that mixed. So then we're going to actually add the egg, the water, and the cream. So I'm going to crack one egg into it. The one ounce of heavy whipping cream. And the two ounces of water. So we're going to get this, break the yolk, and get it all mixed up together. Incorporate it very well. Make a very smooth batter. And then the final thing we're going to do is put the uh, vanilla extract in there. all the lumps whipped up out of it. So now we're going to add a half a teaspoon half a teaspoon of vanilla. We're going to stir that in and incorporate it. Okay, then I'm going to take another ramekin. Oh, there it is. And I'm going to uh, liberally coat, coat the ramekin with the coconut spray. And then we're going to pour the batter into this one. And then we're going to microwave it for three minutes. This actually is just a little thicker than what the uh, other one came out to be. So. so three minutes in the microwave. So we have the uh, cinnamon roll muffin mixture running in the microwave right now. Um, you probably could top it with like a pat of some cream cheese 
just to give you that cinnamon roll uh, feeling, flavor, lusciousness. Don't even know what word I'm using. But um, we'll see how it comes out and see what my wife thinks. We'll give it a, a good rating on a scale of 1 to 10. Okay, the cinnamon roll muffin just stopped, beeped. It was in the process, it looked like it was about to run over, so I did add a paper plate in it and continued cooking, and some of it ran over, so we're going to get it out now. And you can see it uh, ran over just a little bit. Here, let me get this down. Just a little bit it ran over, um, but it's still turning loose from the side. I'm going to flip it out onto another plate here. And in this, I have mixed probably a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of erythritol and some cinnamon to sprinkle on the top. So let's whoop, flip that. And that is hot. Whoop. So there we go. Flipped out. And we'll sprinkle the top with a little cinnamon and sugar. And I'm going to give it a taste test. Okay, I dusted it with the cinnamon and sugar. Like I said, uh, pay me some cream cheese on top. Maybe make up a uh, keto cream cheese icing, which I will have to come up with one. So I'm going to actually taste it. It smells just like coffee cake. The only thing I probably would do would be add maybe just a little more vanilla and another teaspoon of erythritol. But oh my gosh, that is delicious. So I'm going to uh, call my wife in here and get her to taste it off camera and give a rating. I'd give this about a seven. There's room for improvement, so I'm going to have to improve it. So she is sneaking in right now around off camera. I'm going to have her try it. I told her she was going to love this. Um, maybe, just, like I said, just a little more erythritol to make it just a little bit more sweeter, but it's really good. Smells really good. Oh, with some cream, keto cream cheese icing that I got to come up with and go on top of it? If I can have this stuff, I can do keto. That's good here. That's really good. Is it sweet enough? No, well. Do you like the sprinkling on the top? Mm -hmm. She looks like she's in ecstasy right now. What? Yeah, I might need just a teeny bit more sweet. So, uh, if you would, follow me on YouTube. Uh, let me know about this recipe. Make comments below. And y'all have a great day.